In this lesson, we are going to learn about writing number bonds for a number. Now, what is a number bond? Think of the word bond or something bonded, right? Like brotherhood bonds or sister bond or uh, family bond. It's basically combining or connecting together. The same thing with number. A number bond or writing a number bond for any number is basically rewriting that particular number into two or more smaller numbers. And then when we add all those smaller numbers together, it's equal to the original number, okay? So in most cases, you do this when we subtract with like smaller number, okay? Like we did before. Now let's look at this. And there are so many ways to write a number bond for a particular number. What about 27? We have seen this number before. Well, what's 27? We can write into 20 and seven, okay? Because 20 plus seven give you 27. Or well, what if we don't like that? We could have, how about this? How about 10 plus 17? Because we can work with number 10 easily, right? Or what about this? How about 25 and two? You see, there are so many ways to write it. How about, what if we have this number? 107. Ooh, okay. Well, we know for sure this is made up of 100 and seven, right? Or if I want to write another way, I know that this is 90 plus 17. Get a little more fancy, right? Now let's look at this and how this can be applied. The golden rule for usually in this case is when we do addition and subtraction mentally in our head. That's the benefit of number bond. We can visualize in our head easily. For example, what if I have 17 plus 37? For sure, I know this right here, right? I can have 10 and seven. And here I can have what? 30 and seven. Well, what is 10 plus 30? Well, that's gonna be 40, isn't it? And what is seven plus seven? So I wanna illustrate to you. This is 10 plus 30, okay? And then we have seven plus seven, seven plus seven, what is that? That turned out equal to 14. Now what's 40 plus 14? That is 54. You see how that is? The purpose of number bond is that we can visualize number into smaller part so we can do the math mentally in our head to understand that numbers are made of smaller numbers adding together.